The sale of peat should be banned as part of a series of measures to combat climate change and curb exploitation, government advisers have said. It has emerged that the recommendation has been made by the UK Committee on Climate Change, CCC, as the Scottish Government make plans to phase its use out for horticultural purposes. It comes a year after campaigners and environmentalists took aim at the garden centre industry after it emerged it will miss a government target to stop selling peat. It has further emerged that the Scottish Government is moving towards the phasing out of the use of peat for horticultural purposes. A new report on land use from the CCC also suggests a levy on airlines or fossil fuel companies could be introduced to help pay for a huge boost to woodland planting. A voluntary target signed nine years ago was intended to put an end to the use of peat by 2020 due to the severe impact it has on the environment. But it then emerged that an optional target will not be met. Peat is a major component in compost and obtaining it from the native bogland destroys a unique habitat and releases greenhouse gases. The most recent Department for Communities and Local Government Mineral Extraction Analysis for 2014 reveals that 63% of all the commercially extracted peat in Great Britain comes from Scotland. And the Scottish Wildlife Trust hope that the message from the CCC will be heeded by government. The majority of Scotland's peat, 0.47 metres cubic metres out of 0.8 metres cubic metres, was for horticultural use and the rest for other uses such as animal bedding, domestic fuel, whiskey production and mushroom compost. But there remains uncertainty about the true extent of extraction in Scotland. Scottish Natural Heritage video highlighting the benefits from restoring peatlands. A letter seen by the Herald sent to all heads of planning at local authorities across Scotland in November highlights concerns relating to peat sites that are either classified as dormant or where no extraction has taken place for some time while confirming plans to phase out the use of peat for horticultural purposes. In such cases, there is potential uncertainty around the future intentions of the operator and the status of the land, said John McNerney, the Scottish Government Local Government and Communities Director at Chief Planner. In 2017, it was estimated that there were 14 sites in Scotland known to be actively extracting peat but reviews have revealed there are a number of sites with an unknown status. The Scottish Government resisted further legislation in this area because it believes that the existing order-making powers available to planning authorities are sufficient to deal with the issue, said Mr McNerney. Planning authorities have powers to ban the resumption of minerals development. For more on this story, visit the news article link.